All right, nuts about bolts here. Um, finally, again, sort of. I'm just doing this by myself. It's just a goofy little video about um, making this piece of crap hubcap look a lot better because buying refurbished ones is not cheap and the ones that are generic will probably fall off and then your car will look even worse. So first we gotta pull this sucker off by removing the lug nuts because it's a Honda. Um, that's important. Don't try to rip it off, you'll break it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now that I have the hubcap off is clean it up a little. Um, you can see it has only a tiny bit of paint left. So one thing I'm gonna do is scrub off all that peeling stuff and uh, just give it a general clean. I just spray degreaser on there because even though it's not greasy, it seems to cut through various types of dirt. So let's give it a shot. So I'm just gonna spray it all over there and let it sit for a minute. This is a rear hubcap and depending on if your hubcaps have been switched around um, or maybe never cleaned, you might have some heavy brake dust on there that you have to scrub off. I'm just gonna use like a scotch pad type of thing. All right, this part's gonna be noisy. I'm gonna use the old pressure washer and clean it up. what I was talking about one of these little green pads you can just go and scrub off all the bubbling and peeling stuff that's left if you really want to be picky about it you could use some paint stripper or you could sand it but I'm trying to do this a quick way and get some bang for my buck here so that's the idea make the car look better it needs to get sold and um, yeah, putting these hubcaps on the way they were would not be a good selling point. I got the hubcap here set up in my little paint station. But while I wait for that to thoroughly dry, uh, I'll show you what I got. Let's see, I got just uh, Make It Look Factory again wheel silver. And um, to make it look better, clear coat. And you can see it actually is high temperature. It says it holds up to 250 degrees because believe it or not, your wheels get hot from the brakes. So that's why you should get something that's intended for wheels. It's more durable and uh, it, it uh, holds up to the heat. All right, here's another one of the hubcaps. Since, uh, well, once the paint comes off and the plastic is a little deteriorated on the surface, it's kind of porous so it takes a while to dry and I want to make sure it's bone dry before I paint it so I'm gonna try on this other hubcap using some paint stripper because I'm sure there's people that are gonna think why would you do this and not do it right but the thing is I'm just trying to do this as a bang for your buck type of move because people see some crappy hubcaps on your car that's for sale and they think you didn't take care of it so let's see how this goes. All right, let's see how this is going. I don't know if you can see that too well, but looks like the paint is lifting. So I'm just gonna go back to the handy dandy pressure washer and uh, see how it looks. It might require some scrubbing again with the 3M pad as well. So um, let's get to it. still have some paint going on here so I think we're gonna do round two of the spray on 
paint stripper. And if there's anything left, yeah, we'll just scrub it down. All right, so now we're back to the first hubcap and I'm gonna start painting it. It's nice and dry now. Um, one thing you wanna do is pay attention to the directions on the can because if you don't follow them, you can have some funky stuff going on. Um, I actually didn't pay attention and uh, what happened is I waited too long to put a second coat and it actually started screwing with the first coat and the paint started to lift and crack and do all kinds of weird stuff. So you know, follow the directions, apply it, extra coats or additional coats within the time frame they recommend and um, also with the clear coat as well. All right, so I'm in the middle of the process of painting it. Um, yeah, it doesn't look perfect. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see some of the old paint. And there are flaws that I didn't sand out. But hey, there's a saying that goes uh, something like, uh, looks good from far, but far from good. But nobody's going to be looking close and critiquing your plastic hubcaps. So um, that's why I'm going this route. It's best bang for my buck. Another thing I should mention is as I'm painting, I spray light layers or light coats and then I rotate it so that I can make sure and get it from different angles and get all the surfaces. And then don't forget to get the edge because that's going to show. Easy to miss that or at least for me. Anyways. So a couple more coats and uh, then we'll clear it. All right, now after a second round of paint stripper, um, it's just about all gone. I'll just, again, go over it with the scrubber pad and then we'll paint this one as well. So here's the just about finished product. They don't look perfect. I mean, shoot, this one even hit a curb at some point, but it sure looks a lot better than that. You know, funny thing is, I was kind of uh, hit with some inspiration for this little video. I was actually at a tire shop the other day because I had a blowout on the freeway when somebody's chunk of metal material flew out of their truck. And uh, when I went to go get a new tire put on, they had a set of peeled Honda hubcaps sitting in a box off to the side. So... Then I thought, hey, maybe I can just refinish them instead of buying junk from Walmart. All right, so one more thing I should probably really stress is you need to be patient when it comes to doing the silver. That metallic, it does take a few times to get it on to get a nice um, solid coat that you can't see through. So you just gotta be patient. Yeah, keep going over it. This is the clear, but um, the silver, yeah, you definitely need to take your time. Don't put it on too thick because you'll get all kinds of weird discoloration, all kinds of bad things. You don't want drips and stuff like that. You can avoid it. So just be patient and keep putting light coats on and uh, it should come out pretty decent. Okay, so I went ahead and did the clear and this is where um, you find a good example of why you need to follow the directions. It says to reapply or put additional coats within 10 minutes including the clear coat and now I got all this weird blotchiness but another thing you need to uh, remember is to uh, be patient because sometimes these things when it dries they fade away. So let's cross our fingers but uh, yeah. Make sure you follow the directions and watch the clock.